in the history of independent India. They are most crucial because what is at stake is the very future of the secular democratic republic as we define every single aspect of our republican constitution has been under tremendous attack during the last five years by this Modi government. So if you have to protect, safeguard, secular democratic republic of India, it is essential and that is why this is the most crucial of the elections so far in our history because on this will determine what will be the future of India as an independent country and as a republic. It is to defeat this government and in that place to ensure that an alternative secular government comes to hold office at the centre controlling the central government and the strength of the left must be increased in the coming Lok Sabha so that this alternative government can be pressurized to implement policies which are in the interest of the people and in the interest of the country. This has been our experience in 2004 and in 2004 because of the left's pressure many far-reaching legislations were enacted and many rights were given to the people from the right to information, the right to rural employment, the right to food security, the right to education, to the forest, uh, forest produce and forest lands. All these rights came because of the strength of the left. And that is why this time defeating the BJP and its allies to save India today so that we can change India for the better on the basis of pro-people policies. But that secular government must implement pro-people policies and for that Kerala people with their maturity voted for the LDF and out of the 20 seats in Kerala to the parliament, 18 seats were won by the LDF in 2004. I am sure in this 2019 election, and in fact, they have to take the leadership role like they've been taking since 1957. This time, you will give 20 out of 20 to the LDF and send them to the parliament for the future of India. That is why today, we must realize what the people of India have gone through in the last five years. The Annadatta, who produces food, who feeds all of us, today 